Hello, good morning everybody on a lovely morning again. Good to have another opportunity of just having a few words with you. And today, of course, is a very special day in as much that we commemorate the 75th anniversary of victory in Europe. And so we rejoice in the goodness of God. We are reminded of all those who gave and paid the supreme price for our freedom, those who still carry the scars of war and of the conflict, and we're mindful of those, and we're assured, of course, that the Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, is with us. He has said, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. In writing at the end, right at the end of Matthew's Gospel, he tells us that he is with us all the time. And so we have that glorious assurance that he is with us. And we read in the scripture so many occasions when that was true, whether it was in the storm, or we think of going back into the Old Testament, because some people say, well, is Jesus in the Old Testament? Well, yes, of course he is. Right from the very beginning, we're told that the seed of the woman would bruise the serpent's head and so we are reminded of that fact and I'm thinking this morning of those three Hebrew young men who because of their allegiance to God and to the word of God and commandment of God would not obey the commandment of the king and because of their disobedience they were cast into a fiery furnace. Now we're told that the furnace was heated up seven times hotter than normal and these three young men were put in the fire and when they looked in they said didn't we put three men in the fire there's four there and of course that was none other than the Lord Jesus Christ himself. He was with them in the fire. And when they brought them out of the fire there wasn't even the smell of smoke on them. I remember my dear mother when I was just a young man sometimes we would have bonfires and she would say to me when I went home you've had a bonnie and the smoky smell had accompanied me it was in my clothes but those young men passing through the fire there was no evidence of the fact that they'd been in such a terrible situation. Jesus was with them. He was with the disciples in the storm and he has said to us, I am with you in all the places wherever you go. <clears throat> that includes every place and excludes none. And so today we give thanks for the wonderful preserving, delivering power of the Lord Jesus we thank you for the victory, Lord, that was accomplished in the war. We thank you for all those who paid the price. We thank you, Lord, for your good hand upon us. And as we are now engaged in another battle against an unseen foe, an unseen enemy, that you'll be with those that are fighting against this foe, those who are seeking to bring relief, seeking to find a cure, seeking to bring aid and help one to another. And so on this special day when many are gathering uh, in their houses, in their streets, in their closes, uh, at arm's length so to speak, social distancing has been brought into place obviously for safety reasons, but there are going to be a number of tea parties and a friend of mine where they live down near Southampton they're having a tea party they're all having scones and tea and jam and cream at a distance to celebrate and we too celebrate today and give thanks bless the Lord O oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the Lord O oh my soul and forget not all his benefits and Lord we wouldn't forget today your good hand upon us in the past and we look to you for the future 
Now I'm just going to have a word of prayer, gracious God, loving Heavenly Father, accept our thanksgiving, worship and praise. We thank you for all that is past and we praise you for what is yet to come because we know our times are in our in your hand and we know Lord with the hymn writer who said that God holds the key of all unknown and I am glad if other hands should hold that key or if he trusted it to me I might be sad so Father accept our praise Jesus we love you we worship and adore you glorify your name in all the earth we pray for Jesus sake amen well, I pray that you'll have a very good, happy day today and in the coming days that we will know the Lord's blessing, presence and power. Bye-bye for now.